The star of Watch Dogs is Aiden Pierce, a vigilante who uses his smartphone to manipulate surveillance cameras, traffic lights, and even the electricity supply in a fictional version of Chicago. He can even access the personal records of his fellow citizens. It took the Watch Dogs developers five years and 50 million euros to perfect the game. Nowadays, game designers have to pull out all the stops to keep players excited. Every person walking around in Chicago has their own identity, and when Aiden Pierce interacts with them, something happens in the game. He leaves an impression behind. That's part of the innovation. You can't invent something like that in a year. Video games are now rivaling Hollywood blockbusters in cost. The game Star Wars The Old Republic cost 150 million euros. It's the third most expensive computer game ever made. The production and marketing of Grand Theft Auto V cost 200 million euros. Just hours after its release, the game's Scottish manufacturers had recouped their costs. It hasn't been released yet, but Destiny is estimated to have cost a record 360 million euros. Computer games typically cost nine-figure sums to produce these days. They have to sell a lot of copies to break even. Producing a computer game is not like working on the set of a feature film where you walk around with a camera. Everything you see is created on a computer, so personnel costs are high. That's the biggest cost. One of Germany's biggest training centers for computer game programmers is located in Trier. At the moment, the students are working on one of the newest gamepad systems. The sector is growing. Computer games now generate more income than feature films. At the same time, the image of computer games has changed. Almost one in two Germans regularly play computer games. Nowadays, they're even regarded as cultural assets. It's not a medium that's regarded as new by young people, as it perhaps was in my generation. Back then, the defining medium was television. Nowadays, the computer game is increasingly becoming the defining medium for young adults. Today's game designers have to keep dreaming up bigger and better tricks for their increasingly demanding customers. To make on-screen movement look as realistic as possible, the producers use expensive and time-consuming motion capture technology. Actors don suits kitted out with sensors, and multiple cameras are used. The technology was deployed to particularly good effect in the game Beyond Two Souls, which hit the market last autumn. Hollywood actors Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe were employed by the Parisian game studio Quantic Dream to create the character's movements. In Beyond Two Souls, the distinctions between film and game become blurred. Whether the charisma of certain actors can be transferred to virtual characters is impossible to ascertain at this point in time. It's been tried once or twice and it was quite well received. But acting on a real set is a little different from acting on a virtual one. But games can be produced without motion capture or Hollywood actors. The independent Swedish game Papers, Please, for example. In the role of a border guard, the player decides whether to allow immigrants to enter the country. Despite its relatively old-fashioned graphics, the game was critically acclaimed and recently won the Lara Prize for Best International Computer Game. It's not just about investing more money, being bigger and more realistic, or having better sound effects. It's about creating intelligent entertainment. Independent games can achieve that, too. The game Watch Dogs employs impressive cutting-edge graphics. It's a high-gloss production that could almost be a film. So it should come as no surprise that there are plans afoot to turn the game into a movie.